This content is for educational purposes only and is not medical advice. The content is provided for reference only and does not claim to be exhaustive or complete. Users should always consult with a qualified and licensed healthcare provider. Reliance on the content is solely at the user's risk. Deep wound packing for external bleeding. If the wound is deep or gaping and direct pressure does not stop the bleeding, deep wound packing may help. Remember, deep wound packing is a temporary procedure to stop the bleeding because it can lead to infection if left for more than 24 hours. Ask for help. Use personal protective equipment, wear gloves and eye protection, and if needed, a gown and mask. Gather supplies. Clean fluid, syringe, and cannula to irrigate and clean the wound, gauze or dressing material, bandages, and plaster or tape. Thoroughly wash out the wound by flushing with at least one liter of normal saline or another clean fluid. Irrigate with fluid under pressure. Pressurized irrigation can be done using a cannula attached to a syringe or by squeezing a plastic bag filled with fluid. After irrigating, fill the wound with gauze or another clean compact material. Completely fill the space within the wound. Cover the top with additional gauze and apply direct pressure with your hand or a bandage wrapped firmly around the wound. Do not leave deep wound packing in place for more than 24 hours because of the risk of infection. Apply a splint to reduce the risk of re-bleeding for deep limb wounds. If bleeding does not stop, consider a tourniquet.